nice Holland 227 here. Um, got some pickups to show you guys. Uh, wife and I were out shopping, and this is why I love my wife. She's always on the lookout for uh, gaming stuff for me. We went into a Goodwill um, about 45 minutes away from our house. We were out doing some shopping, <clears throat> and I was looking at the cases, you know, the obvious places for games and stuff. And she went back to where the board games and toys and things are because we had our son with us. And for a dollar, she found this. And this is something I've never seen before. So when we got home, we Googled it. We eBayed, you know, we eBayed it. We didn't find anything about this. Um, and what this is, is this is a box that says Mario Quiz Cards. Made from a company called Newfield Publications. So when she brought it to me and I saw it for a dollar, opened it up, looked at it. And I bought it, and I didn't even really check it out, figuring Mario Quiz Cards, maybe it's something game-related, but it's not. And I even looked to see if it was all there. So inside, I opened it up, found the actual manual, which is really nicely done. Uh, it's in great shape. A lot of pictures, a, a whole shot of uh, Meet Mario and Company, and it's got Mario and Luigi and the Princess and Bowser, you know, and all, all the common characters um, that you would meet in Mario, except, I guess there's a Goomba, I didn't see him. Um, but, you know, just perfect, perfect shaped manual. And it also had a flyer in it about getting some gifts, you know, send some money in, and, and you get some you know, tattoos and um, a collector's box and, you know, things like that. Um, and as I looked at it, um, I realized that's what this is. So, this is uh, complete. Um, with the exception of the tattoos weren't in here. But what it really is, is it has a couple different kinds of cards. One, it has a sorter. And the reason it has a sorter because these are actually educational cards. Um, this one, it has Mario and he's painting on it, and it says, where do collars come from? And it has two choices. Um, from, number one, from a light source such as a sun or lamp, or two, colorants, which are found everywhere in nature. And the answer, of course, is collars come from a light source such as a sun or a lamp. But these are actually educational things that you can use to teach things to your children which I thought was pretty neat when I opened it up. You know, I was expecting, you know, Mario quiz things, um, blah, 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 blah. But it's actually um, real cards for learning things. Um, so, yeah, these larger cards, well, you can divide them. You can either divide it alphabetically by questions or by categories. Um, so... This was an awesome pickup for a dollar. I don't know anything else about this, uh, but the side box art is really cool. It's got just a bunch of pictures of Mario and the princess and Bowser. And when I first seen this, I was like, well, I don't know what year that's made. And then when I saw the manual is 95, I should have realized that because as you look, Mario has the cape, um, the giant key to unlock the door. So this was made after Super Mario World had come out. But this, you know, the only thing about it, it's got a tear on the side, which I'm not worried about. Uh, for something this rare, if it's rare as I think it is, uh, that little tear doesn't bother me. It's got some creases. You know, it's that normal wear and tear that a box 15 years old would have. So I thought that was a really neat find. And uh, my wife, you know, has an eye for catching things like that. Um, so if anybody knows anything about that, uh, leave a comment in the comment box or shoot me a PM uh, because I want you know some more information about this. I want to know if there's any more of these out there, like any more sets that you can collect for it. Um, maybe a place to find the tattoos that go with that box so it can be complete. Um, I, and, and that flyer ad said there's an additional 40 cards. I don't know if this has the additional 40 cards. Uh, maybe there's a site that lists all the cards that should be inside of it. So I can see if it's all there. It looks like it's all there. It's pretty complete. The only thing it looks like it's missing is like the plastic wrap it may have been wrapped in. 
but I thought for a dollar that was a that was a steal. Um, this is a Goodwill that we normally don't go to. Um, so uh, to find that for a dollar was fantastic. So I picked up some other stuff from there, but I'm gonna show that in a separate video. I thought this needed its own video. Um, for you know, for the simple fact of it's something I've never seen before, something I've, I have never seen anybody talk about. Um, I, I don't know, I really didn't YouTube it to see if there's anything on it, but um, I, I think it's probably something that's going to be very hard to find, very hard to come by. So, like I said, if you guys know anything, please leave a comment. Also, I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Uh, I picked up a few subscribers. Um, and all my old subscribers, thanks for hanging in there. And I haven't made a lot of videos lately. Um, I just, I've been, we were so busy with the holidays. Uh, you know, my job when it was Christmas and all that is very busy being a salesman in electronics. Uh, you know, Christmas time is busy. Uh, January is pretty hectic with people spending their gift cards, people doing returns for stuff they didn't even want for Christmas, exchanges, you know, Christmas money, things like that. So I finally got back around to doing it. Um, you know, I did that quick pickup video for um, Gauntlet and now this and then I have a whole stack of stuff down here that I'm going to do um, and for a future video I just wanted to do this one by itself so thanks for checking me out guys.